two challengers, and then he just threw fucking darts at the Paladin class cards. I bet his last card in hand was Argent Lance. Holy fuck. This is the actual worst Secret Paladin deck I've seen in my life, and I've built some bad ones. I mean, I've built some, like, fucking Mad Scientist Secret Paladin decks, but that, that is, that's insane. Not sure what the paladin match or what the priest mirror matchup is like. We'll find out, I guess. We should be favored with two thoughts, steal and Elise. We should be favored late game against everything. So he's the aggressor. He needs to make a board that I can't deal with. I'm gonna play this. I think. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Can steal that later, maybe. Pain is one of my best cards in the deck, but Dark Cultist is just going to be too effective if I let it live, because it doesn't die to Light Bomb, it doesn't die to Excavated Evil or Holy Nova. And I can't steal it. Can't kill Deathlord if I play this, but he probably doesn't even play that card. I want to steal that so bad. Always dig the music you got playing. Respect for keeping it real. Fuck the haters, Rainhead. Thank you so much, SDC Ball. It's nice of you to say, man. I think I'm just going to holy fire. Eh, it's actually like one of the best Entomb targets in the entire deck, but maybe he plays a bunch of random expensive stuff. I didn't actually see if any of these came off of Museum Curator. I'm gonna holy fire this. Inner fire incoming? That would suck. Yeah. There's a chance he's playing that deck. Play the Justicar? You might be right. Justicar was really good on that board. Pretty good on this board, too. Much like this card, which I think I just play now. If I save this, I can steal Death Lord, but I don't think he plays Death Lord. I really don't. I'm just going to fight for board. The 1-8 doesn't really kill anything, but I'm scared of him putting pants on it. If he Valens is it, then I'm kind of screwed. I'm going to wreck you right now. Oh, please. I'm gonna play this game, huh? Okay. Mm, those cards weren't too important. He can't win. Like, six cards down. I <laughs> thought steal a lease. Like, uh, yeah, it's... There's no way. That is one bonus of playing this deck, is you kind of farm all of the uh, control decks for free. Which is a pretty nice bonus. I'm probably going to entomb this. Oh. I don't want to lose my 4-4, man. It's too good. I really don't like entombing this, but I have to. I'm scared that if he does get that Elise off, you know, that I'm going to really need the Entomb to get rid of a big minion, but it's a really high chance at this point that he just doesn't have that. Triple Cultist. Okay, so that one's off Curator. I want to get this down soon. Playing this is dumb. Just dies to Shadow or Death. This deck is really hard to play.
<laughs> Do but don't touch. Do but don't touch that. Pentacidal, thank you for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Good to have you here, man. Sorry it took me a while to read that. Cold Killer says we check out this video, then same gif just on YouTube. Uh, I mean, dude, that's 30 minutes long and loud. I don't want to deal with that. I'm sorry. Sorry about that, guys. I, I, my, I'll never click a fucking link again. Like, there's a reason I have that rule, right? And people still... People still try to get me to click shit. And every time I do it, I regret it. Every time. I'm not clicking your fucking link. Uh, I wouldn't exactly call this deck friendly for stupid players. I actually think this deck is really hard to play. This is exactly the kind of deck you want bad players to be playing. If I play this, it just gets Shadow or Death. If I play this, then I get more draws towards the map, which is pretty good. No! Come back! I mean, I can make him fatigue a lot sooner than me. Do I want to take that off the table? I don't think so. I'm hoping his map is weak. Actually, he hasn't even played Elise yet. I have an 11 card lead in the fatigue war. But... Actually, no, I, d I did draw Thought Steel. I drew one. Now, if we're lucky, we get the second one before the his deck is empty, but even if we don't, it's not the end of the world. He might Nova here. No. Nope. That was cool. I mean, I'll, I'll take this thing, staying in play, hitting him. He's going to have targets for Shadow or Death anyway. Might as well throw... Actually... Playing this at all is just stupid. If I just hold it, I can turn it into a legendary with Elise. If I play it now, I just trade it with Shadow or Death. But that also means he gets one less legendary. But he's gonna get a really big hand. I think I want to keep cards in my hand. Because my hand's not gonna be big. God, hero power is so good. This might be the best hero power in the game that you can play with, besides like... Alternate heroes like Ragnaros or Draxus is like actually the best hero power you can get. It's more flex. Well, I guess in Control Mirrors, Warrior is better. This one's more flexible though. Healing minions for four is insane. Venti says, "Sorry, I wasn't talking about your priest tech. I was talking about your face shaman." Ah, my bad. I'm sorry for making face shaman, man. I mean, Tunnel Trog's such a good card that a lot of people would have ended up making that deck. My list wasn't even the best one. It was just the first one that was streamlined. The best one was made by, like, Luffy for a while. I had the general red idea, though. I think I'm supposed to save in Tomb. I have two maps in my deck. Two. Ah, oh, the struggle. The Elise Priest Mirror. Kill me now. Yep, we both played two Elises. He's probably going to get mapped first. Actually, if I play two of these, he's going to draw it. Ooh, here we go. Should I play this now or later? I should play this later. Next turn's fine. Actually, I want to play this before I fill his deck with garbage. But I want to fill his deck with garbage right now. 
because it's cost effect. Like it's, it uses my mana really well, and um, I don't want him drawing map. I should thought steal first. So play at least number three. There's three maps in here somewhere. My brain hurts. I think because I have a big lead on... He can fatigue me if I play this. I'm not gonna play this. It actually hurts my brain. I'm gonna turn Acolyte into a legend. Just don't draw a map this turn. He has, how many did he have, two or three? It's either 40% or 50%, or he, he's either 33% or he's 50% to draw a map. Is this the fourth one? <laughs> Are there any like non-map cards I can steal? Oh God. We're just gonna chain maps any second. Him before me. All right, let's put garbage in his deck. Oh, that's cute, but I gotta do this because I need him to draw these cards. Oh God, he drew it, <laughs> it worked. I don't know if that's mine or not. I should probably craft a golden one because nobody else will have a golden one. And then I'll know if it's mine or theirs that got played. <laughs> Playing this before I have a way to steal it back seems sketchy. Although, yeah, seems sketchy. He just cabals it, I get wrecked. I can't play it, I can't play this either. Force him to cabal. I don't, I'm not supposed to play it. I don't know, just pass with 10 mana, I guess. That's the play. He's going to chain maps now. If he hit one. Hope he drew Excavated Eel. No! The chain begins. Now he either draws map or... Oh, <laughs> get wrecked. Now I'm going to draw it. He has no more bad cards in his deck. He has Monkey in there now. Ugh. I don't think I'm supposed to play this until he plays Monkey. After he plays Monkey, I can drop it. But then his deck is full of legends that come out of this. Is that even good? I guess he doesn't get the battle cry. It's probably worth it. I'm going to do nothing again. I just skipped 20 mana. My hero power didn't even do anything. Two turns in a row. <laughs> He's now monkeying? Oh, God. Okay, Belcher's a card. I can play this and do things. He can steal that with Cabal Shrink. But then I can Shadow Madness. Here it goes. Alright boys, four left in deck. Now the fun begins. Can I afford to skip the Entomb? I don't know that I can. I need to win this by fatigue. You guys would play Monkey here, then I lose the Entomb. Entomb is nuts. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I'm gonna. I, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to wait until I use Entomb. It's a ten card legendary hand. Like at some point he Sylvanas's me or something. I can't deal with it. I'm gonna wait on Monkey. the The thing about Monkey is that Monk like the first Monkey wrecks your other monkeys. I wish that it turned all of your non Monkey cards into into Monkey things. That's so good for him.
he's still not doing anything, and every single turn he waits is good for me, because it gets him closer to fatigue. So I can steal the boom. I think I'm just going to shadow or death it, though. Cabal. My brain hurts. I need to kill this next turn. Oh, my head. Okay. Oh god. It's playing that playing that is just a is just stupid. Why did I play that card? Playing that card just shrinks my deck by a card. It's probably better to just turn that into a legend. Play as Sarah. See what happens. Like, I have spells and he doesn't have spells. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to wait till I use all of these useful cards and then monkey the useless cards. Because on average, Entomb and on average, Shrink My Sir Cabal are going to be better than the cards I'm getting off of monkey. Fuck. I have to monkey. That's such a problem. But he can't heal anymore. He can't heal. Wait, can I kill my own? I'm a mana off of killing this. Ugh. This game actually hurts my head. Um, doing nothing might be slightly better here. I know he doesn't have spells. If I play a dude... 5, 10, 11. I'm one off lethal if I play a dude. Does anyone know what Excavated Evil does with fatigue? Does it reset fatigue or does it... when Like, if, if they're fatiguing and they're taking like 5 a turn and then you Excavated Evil and then you play this again... Or, sorry, okay, they're fatiguing, they're taking five a turn, and then you play Excavated Evil. And then they draw Excavated Evil, and then they start fatiguing again. Does the fatigue start over at one, or do, do they take six the first time they fatigue after Excavated Evil? It pauses it. Well, chat is like 50-50, so nobody knows. I think it just delays one. I know with Monkey it delays one turn. I think I found that out on stream today. If you fatigue yourself, and then you put a card in there and draw it... And just pauses. So. You know, see, just having like normal cards is better. Screw Elise. Why is Elise in my deck? <laughs> It'll be better as Senjin every time. I played four Elises that game and none of them mattered. Like, oh.